Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we talk about bitwise operators and shift operators. So although we don't use uh, programmatically not much, we use uh, bitwise and shift operators, but still I want to cover it because we have to know at least the basics of this uh, bitwise and shift operators. In case if you want to learn more in detail about uh, bitwise and shift operators, you have to understand how what are number systems and how do we convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary number system. And then you'll, you'll be able to understand this bitwise and shift operators very clearly. So in the description section of this YouTube video, I'll be putting some links from where you can learn number system, memory units, and uh, bitwise and shift operators in detail. So in case if you want to explore more about this, you can actually go through the uh, links that I mentioned in the description section of this video. Now we'll see a very high level overview of this bitwise and shift operators and let's get started. Now let's try to understand bitwise operators first. We have three operators bitwise and bitwise R and bitwise ZAR. ZAR stands for exclusive R. Now when I say for bitwise and the two operands must be two numbers. So here bitwise and so how it really works is number six will be converted to binary and number three will be converted to binary. We need to convert to binary. And one is considered as true and uh, zero is considered as false. Now, and means both should be true for the result to be true. So if you see here true and false, it is false. True and true, it is true. And false and true, it is false. And only and will be true if both are true in this case. So here it's false, true, false. Now, when you convert this to binary, a decimal, this binary number, when you convert to decimal, you'll get two. So that's how you get this bitwise and. So it works with bits because we are converting this decimal number to binary and bitwise, we are doing this and operation. So that's why it's called bitwise operators. Similarly, bitwise R. Bitwise R means if any one is true, R will be true. So here, six R three, one R zero is one, one R one is one, and 0 or 1 is 1. So when you convert this to decimal, the answer is 7. Now, how do you, if you want to explore, like how do we get this 111 to 7? So as I told, I have mentioned the links in the description of this YouTube video. You'll understand. If you go through the links, you'll understand how do we get 7? How do we convert this binary to decimal, etc. Right? It's good if you go through and understand very clearly. And last one, bitwise ZAR. ZAR stands for exclusive R. That means one should be true and one should be false. Even if both are true, ZAR will be false. So exclusively one should be true, one should be false. Then only the result will be true. So one, ZAR, zero. So one is true, one is false, so it's true. One, ZAR, one. So one, exclusive ZAR, one. So even if both are true, exclusive R means definitely one should be true and one should be false. So in this case, it's zero and zero ZAR, one and which is here, again, one is true and one is false, so it's one. And when you convert this to uh, decimal, you'll get five. So let's try to understand how we can actually get this in Eclipse IDE, and let's have a look at this bitwise operators in Eclipse IDE and see how do we get this calculation. I just opened Eclipse IDE. Now what I'll do here is I will be writing here six and six, and this is for bitwise and three. Now, when I run this code now, let me run this code and you will see here for AND operator, we got two there. So here also we're getting two. And when I put bitwise R, so let me put here bitwise R. And now let's run the code now. You will see here, we will be getting seven, which we got uh, even the same when I explained previously. Now, ZAR, bitwise ZAR is the symbol that we put here like this and let's try to run the code and let's see what do we get. So you can see here, we're getting five for bitwise exclusive R. I hope you're clear with bitwise operators. Now we will see the next one, which is shift operators. Now again, uh, shift operators as well, in case if you want to know in detail about shift operators, again, you have to go through the descriptive section of this video and understand more. But for now, uh, this is left shift operator. So this is left shift operator and this is right shift operator. So I want to find six left to shift two. So what we have to do is convert six to binary. And this is a binary equivalent for six. And you have to push it left side and add two zeros here and then convert this total to decimal. So we get 24. So shift six, 
left shift 2 is 24 all you have to do is convert 6 to binary and add two zeros here and you get this 24 now right shift operator is now convert the 6 to binary so this is what you get it and when you push right side so you have to remove two right side decimal right side uh, digits so we have to remove these two and right shift you have to remove right side once whereas left shift you just need to move to the left side and add zeros here so remember always left shift will be answer of the left shift will be always bigger than the given number so here if you see 6 left shift 2 will be always greater than 6 so that's why we got 24 now in case if someone asked you 6 left shift 1 so 6 left shift 1 what you have to do is anyway 6 we have here 1 1 1 0 and all you have to do is you just need to add 0 here and you have to convert this to decimal and that will be definitely greater than 6 so left shift will always result in the number that's bigger than this number right shift you have to remove the right side uh, digits based on the value that you give here since I gave two here I have to remove two digits and in the binary number and when I convert this one to binary I'll be decimal I'll be getting one so six right shift two is one so let's try to understand whether we get the same value in Eclipse ID let's see how it looks like now I just open Eclipse ID so what I'll be doing now here is I'll just put here I'll just put here uh, 6 left shift 2 now let's do this so now what I'll do is I'll just type here 6 left shift 2 and let's see what we get the output now 6 left shift 2 so obviously we are expecting some something bigger than 6 and let's run the code now and you can see I got 24 as explained in the PPT now what I'll do is I'll put 6 right shift 2 so in this case you have to convert 6 to binary and um, you have to convert 6 to binary and remove the right side 2 digits. so in this case the value of 6 uh, right shift 2 will be less than 6 now let's run the code now now you can see here it's showing as 1 and you can also calculate these values of uh, bitwise and bitwise r and shift operators in calculator so let me open calculator click on start and type here calculator and I just open calculator so by default when you open a calculator in Windows uh, operating system you'll get the standard calculator now when you click on this menu you'll find scientific calculator and when you click on this menu you'll also find programmer calculator now what we can do is select decimal now I just select a decimal and now you can see here bitwise so I can see here bitwise and or not so many operators are there so anyway let me put this calculator like this and um, now what I'll do now is I'll just write decimal and I want to understand um, right shift operators so what I need now 6 and left shift right so I, I click on this here select uh, uh, left shift now let me select here now let's see where it is showing up and uh, let, me, let me just a second yeah here I have 6 left shift and so when I click on this left shift you can see here it's showing LSH now when I click on 2 here and click equals to now you are seeing 24 now when I remove this and uh, try to understand right shift 6 and again right shift is here right shift and now when I put here 2 it should be less than 2 click equal to now I'm getting 1 similarly we get uh, bitwise as well now let's try to understand 6 and bitwise and 6 and uh, we learned about 3 now click equal to you are seeing 2 so similarly you can also find 6 bitwise R and 3 and click equal to we got 7 and similarly uh, ZAR as well uh, we can actually do right so although programmatically I have never used it uh, but still we want to cover this uh, you have to know um, these operators also exist right so that's why we need to discuss this I hope you are clear with uh, bitwise operators and um, uh, shift operators right in the next module we are going to learn the most important operators which is unary operators also called increment or decrement operators and that's all for now see you in the next module thank you